Check out my Patreon for up to three weeks early access to full-length reactions, full-length movie reactions every Sunday, extra anime or live action shows depending on what tier you pick. Link is in the description. Oh no! <gasps> you gotta go back for Momo Appa! What's poppin' guys? Welcome back to Avatar. Last episode we went back to Omashu, we looked for Boomi, we found Boomi. Turns out he wanted to surrender the city because he's waiting for the right moment in his words. So let's see what that's gonna be all about. I'm sure we're gonna eventually see that right moment. We also had the first encounter with Asula and her new group. And they said at the end like, oh, Zuko is not our only target anymore. So I'm assuming they mean us, which sucks because they seem OP as fuck. We got Knife Lady, we got freaking what was the name may uh, and we got ty lee freaking you know just shuts your bending off which is the scariest no azula is probably more of a problem but that's a problem like damn i wonder what would happen if obviously that's impossible if ang is an avatar state she can't get close to him but if he were an avatar state and she would do that to him i would be really interested in seeing what would happen probably the same thing but i feel like there's just i don't know that would be interesting but i don't think she would ever be able to get close to him in that state we need to find a different uh, earthbending teacher so let's see if that's gonna happen maybe this episode we'll you know look through the earth kin kingdom find somebody um yeah it sucks that it's not gonna be boomy but um yeah let's see as always leave a like leave a sub leave a comment and let's go the swamp okay what we're gonna do in the swamp I love these villages. They're so peaceful, man. I'd love to live in this world. Whoa. Damn, they're begging now. Damn, times are rough. We're royalty. These people should be giving us whatever we want. You're royal beggars. <laughs> Come on, we're talking a gold piece here. Let's see some action. Bro, what? Dance. Nah, bro. Yo, we're taking your gold piece and your life. How about that? Yeah, I'm with you, Suko, on that one. Nothing like a fat man dancing for his dinner. Can we piece him up, Zuko? A kind man. I roll you're too wholesome. It's okay. Me and Zuko, we gotta take care of some business, okay? You stay wholesome. We gotta fuck somebody. <laughs> I think the swamp is calling to me. Is it telling you where we can get something to eat? Do you have, like, some drugs for breakfast, Ang? What is happening? Bye, swamp. Yep, yep. <laughs> I think the swamp does not want to let us go. Oh, wait. No, that's death. Ang, isn't this you, like your thing? Like a tornado? Like you're an airbender. Isn't this like your shit? Can you like stop it? No? It's too powerful, huh? Oh, yeah. They're dead. <laughs> Except Ang. Elbow leech. Where? Where? Where do you think? Ooh, Sokka always gets these animals sucking on him, man. What's wrong with your blood, Sokka? Hanging in there, Appa? <laughs> I'm on fire today. You can fly, Appa, right? Does he really only fly when somebody says yip yip? No, okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm almost like, bitch! This is the last time I'm getting you out of this shit. Damn! Imagine that waking you up. The longer we're here, the more I think you shouldn't be doing that. No, I asked the swamp. It said this was fine. Right, swamp? No problem, Sokka! Sokka, didn't you believe in curses like two episodes ago? Now it's... Nah, there's nothing supernatural here. Nobody's gonna mess with Appa, right? He's probably the biggest thing here. <laughs> See what I'm saying? The new boss has arrived. If they could earthbend, they could make themselves like a little hut or something. Oh shit. Well, goodbye, Sokka. Damn. This is the first time that Sokka being a non-bender comes in handy because he has a weapon. Okay, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll take that back. The benders are more saucy once again. <laughs> yep. Catch me then. Oh, he caught us. <laughs> Let me shut up. <laughs> oh. Oh. I thought he was gonna finish him and eat him. Bro, Momo's like that dude that stands behind his big bro in school and has a big mouth. That's Momo. <laughs> Mom. 
Oh, that's fucked up. I can't believe That's messed up. Emotional tricks. Oh, Yui. Damn, they're messing with them hard. I hit my head running away last night. I'm going crazy. Damn. This is some mean. Oh. What is this swamp? Sarah! What's Aang gonna see? Gyatso. Who are you? No. That's not. I thought, like, Gyatso's death and shit. Okay, that's not creepy at all. I'm not chasing that. Hell no. Nah. They're, they're benders? Oh, wait. Oh, we might have a problem. I did not expect these clowns to be benders. Uh, <laughs> well, we're together again, at least. I was chasing some girl. What girl? I don't know. We only saw like a silhouette, but I don't think we ever saw that girl before. What about me? I didn't know the girl I saw. Mm, that's a good point. For the last time, there's nothing after us, and there's nothing magical happening here. Oh, I think that thing heard you, Sokka. Nice. Dodge. Yeah. Oh, you didn't dodge? Oh! <laughs> Okay, too bad. But Katara is saucy, man. That training did her well. Damn, Appa with the speed. Too bad he can't fly away. He should try. Oh! Oh no! <gasps> you gotta go back for Momo, Appa! He's like, fuck that! <laughs> He's on his own! Okay, Aang. Okay! He said, take your tornado back. Oh, oh no, Katara, don't stop it. There's somebody in there? Stop it, Katara. You're too much. What happened to you? I remember when you struggled with the water rip. Why did you call me here if you just wanted to kill us? I didn't call you here. Who is this dude and how is he doing all this? I protect the swamp from folks that want to hurt it. Like this fella with his big knife. <laughs> But how does he bend the vines? Is he a vine bender? Branches spread, then sink and take root, and then spread some more. Damn. Big living organism. That's the heart of the swamp, yeah. We all have the same roots, and we are all branches of the same tree. Ooh, that's so real for our world as well. So, it's someone I will meet. Mmm, that was deep. That was some meditation shit. Oh. Oh, how are they holding him with their hands? Like, bro, you're in trouble. Okay. Yup. Yup. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're, you fucked up today. <laughs> Wrong bison. Yup. <laughs> Damn. What? What is Ken? Like brothers? They got a nice swamp there, do they? No, it's all ice and snow. Hmm, no wonder you left. <laughs> Nothing strange was going on. What do you mean? There's a lot of strange shit. I told you, we were hungry. Sokka, I'm hungry right now. I don't see freaking dead people. What are you saying? How you made the tornado that sucked us down? I can't do anything like that. I just bend the water in the plants. Still, there's absolutely nothing mysterious about the swamp. You're in denial, broski. Yes, please, Zuko. You have my permission to fold this dude. Yup. What's up? Oh, the blue spirit is back, baby. Thanks for the swords, pussy. <laughs> Okay, cool episode, um, a whole bunch of magical shit going on. I'm gonna keep this short because I don't know if you can see, my eyes were red and I got like a lot of allergies going right now. It came out of nowhere, but yeah, a lot of magical shit happening in the swamp. I'm, wonder I'm still wondering how he was able to move those vines. Maybe it's just for people that grew up in the swamp, but... It seems like only he can do it. I don't know. Maybe the swamp kind of chose him as its protector in some 
shape or form, you know, the guardian of the swamp. Katara saw her mom, which was sad, and uh, Sokka saw Yui, which was also sad, and also, like, blamed him, you didn't protect me, and shit. And the, and the guy said the swamp shows us that these people are not dead, that, that we're still connected, something like that. But it also kind of fucked with, I guess, because Sokka was, like, being, like, rude to the swamp and destroying it it kind of scared it i guess it scared him i guess and ang saw somebody he never met before but came to the conclusion that it's somebody he's going to meet because time is an illusion all of that good stuff and yeah some some deep sentences dropped as well that we're all connected i think um you know in in the real world in our world that's the case as well we've, we've just lost that yeah it seems like they never left the swamp because they don't know shit about the outside world it seems like and uh, yeah cool episode as always leave a like leave a sub leave a comment check out my discord and i'll see you guys in the next episode